So I actually work part-time at a Piggly Wigglies and every single day I have at least two customers come in and say, do you have functional Lego Nintendo Switches? And I always have to say no and then I always have to deal with them crying afterwards. So with this feast spread out in front of us, we're gonna solve that issue today. It's mostly a selfish thing. I just don't have to deal with people being sad about that. Now we're just gonna glue all these pieces together. <laughs> That's a joke. It's so easy to be funny when I'm making Lego videos because Legos in general are just like so funny. I would totally date Legos. Pardon the fact that this is an up close video and I happen to have a band-aid on my thumb. I know many people will throw up many times during the video as a result. And I hate to be that guy. I, you know I do. So if you really want to not see it, then leave a donation in the chat so I can get enough health care to fix my frickin' thumb. Perks include... Butt cheeks. <laughs> Satisfying moment. Ooh, uh, clip that. All right, here's the back plate. Yeah, I think so, this should fit. I'll lift this space here for the dock, and this will be the little stand slash the cover for this. And there go half my viewers. I know, I got way too sciencey there for a minute, I'm sorry. If you didn't know any better, you'd think that was in fast forward. Cause I'm fast as heck, sir. Sure hope my mom upstairs didn't hear me say heck. She might take away my brother. This covers the card port. You can take it off if you need to. I mean, actually, fun fact about Legos, you can take any of them off if you want to. And that's why I love Nestle Crunch. My brain just doesn't work when I'm looking for Legos. And now getting to work on the front plate here. I didn't even know these little dudes even existed, but I can assure you they absolutely do. I'm not doctoring this footage. Well, bye, George. Okay, Peter, see ya. Yeah, aye, George. Some three Murphemers on the side. Official brick name. Shout out to all the arms. In the audience, are femurs arms? What's a femur? Nothing, what's a femur with you? Oh, leg. That makes sense since it's feet, like feet mer. All right, nifty. Just test it out by doing one of these. Holy cow, that actually fits the screen kind of well. Just a little bit around the edges, but I'm built within the constraints of a grid-based building block. Not bad. So the actual Switch console we're gonna set aside for a minute as we get to the <sighs> Joy-Cons. This is the part of the show where Peter ends up in the hospital. There'll be a whole lot of brain splodium going on. Oh my gosh, these were together in the packaging I got them in? Do you know what the odds of that are? Put the odds up on screen. Put them up, put the odds on screen. Sorry, my dog's running the back end of things today. He's not doing a great job. Three winner in the, in the between areno. Something similar to that. So we're gonna glue it all together. Oh, I did that one already. Ah, stupid Peter, get funny. This is an illegal building technique. My dad has been in prison for 12 years. Not even relevant to what I'm talking about. Now I'm really hoping this all fits correctly because I measured it. I measured cut twice once or whatever it is and I made very, very sure that this should all fit and that the buttons should line up and everything. And at this point I'm just trusting myself when I was designing this to have done it right because what I'm doing is not particularly making sense to me in my brain. But I know that when I designed this, well, I was half asleep. And I would say that's when my brain works the best. Actually, it's probably just that my brain is so slow that it is impressed with its, just its ability to think at all. I bring the console back over here, put on a few of these flatacious pizzerinos, the Flurif PP rear. If I made a YTP of it, that's what they'd be called. And then it'll connect. It makes that sound. That wasn't even me making that sound. Easy peasy, I wipe my butt with a squeegee. I know that makes me sound kind of weird that I just said that out loud. I don't actually do it, but I thought maybe if I said it, some people would get the idea like, you know, that's not the worst thing ever. Now things get real delicate again. You gotta be all gentle and careful as if Legos have feelings. That's one good reason I think Legos are good kid toys is they, they teach kids how to treat things like they have feelings because kids just don't know how to do that naturally. They'll just throw out insults like, huh, your hair looks like my hair. Disgusting. Now when you see these pieces rolling out, you get that little hint of a finished product. It makes you feel like the end is near. But this here is just a little, little accent, a little designy whiny. 
And now that, that looks about right there. It's a thick Joy-Con, don't get me wrong. Pop it on, pop it off. It's just like a real Joy-Con. Oh, that's what I was making. That makes so much sense. All right, now the next part of getting the buttons to all be in place and line up and stick through the holes correctly and be good looking is a really hard part. So I'm gonna do something I do very, very rarely. You won't catch me doing this. I'm gonna shut up. Sorry, intrusive thoughts. All right, so here's what we have. It is scuffed, but it just, it just works. When I put so good you'll pee in the title and it's not so good that you pee. Okay, fair enough at that point. Joy-Con number two. Joy-Con is actually not the words joy and con, it's the words joik and on. And it originates from Latin. You say it when some jerk is on the TV. You'd be like, hey, they got a joy-con. That's what you would say to your ma in the kitchen. Ma, ma, they got the joy-con. All right, left joy-con done as well. Again, looks a little whack. I think it kind of looks cool, personally speaking. Kind of looks like Lego Joy-Con. Power and volume buttons all in place too. Not the moment of youth, because it makes me feel like a kid who has a Switch instead of an adult that has a Switch, because it's made out of Legos. That's the whole point of everything. Holy thick! I mean, yeah, you can hold the whole console like this. It's not perfectly stable. You'll be seeing some B-roll on the screen. I've been pretty good about remembering that lately, so if you don't, you know, just give me a pass, just this once. I think it's okay if I mess up once in a while. We're just gonna take this right away and give her the old test -a So we're gonna have to switch over to the other studio. I've been paying a lot of money lately. Production's been ramping up so that I could rent out a whole separate building for testing these things. So we'll throw you right over there. We'll see what you think of it. Welcome to the testing grounds. What a crazy different room this is. You may notice that you can't see my face. This is because I'm shy and very bad on camera. Power button does indeed work. Volume buttons, oh yeah. Okay, I mean, this one does indeed work. Slight kink in the problem. This one does work. If you take this little top part off, take the whole thing out and slide it into the console, which you need to do to pair it, not like the bird. Okay, get on with it. It does indeed pair with the console and it does indeed function correctly. The issue is the battery is just not working correctly. It won't connect when it's disconnected from the console. So we're gonna be in solo Joy-Con mode, but I do want it to be known that the blue one does work. Just don't happen to have proof of the fact that it works. Pop this bad boy out. Bada bam, bada bam. We'll play an extremely technical character like Donkey Kong. Oh, that's me. Now, some of you might be thinking the R bumpers are not going to be working if you're using just Joy-Cons. And to that I say, keep in mind... Shh. Use Super Punch. Ugh. Oh! Low profile that completely on purpose. Oh, now... Now you're done for. Uh, no, I'm done for. Eh. Okay, you need to get out of here. That's not like a bad design on my choice, by the way. That's just, Lego pieces fall apart sometimes. I don't know why he had that rule set going. The darn CPU is choosing rule sets against my will, but hey, I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> Earthbound from Ness. That's what I'm saying. Can you walk into me so I can do the big punch? Thanks. Paid actor. Level 9 CPUs, notoriously known as the hardest challenge you can possibly do in Super Smash Brothers. That being said, if you're the kind of person who wants to use a shield buttons, it is made out of Lego. You can literally just take it apart. Uh, it is completely to my credit that you can take this thing apart so that all of its flaws are designed to be fixed. I didn't realize that I'd be fighting the hardest level 9 CPU for this challenge of Legos. Ugh. 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 Mmm. Mmm. With the tournament rules? That's me. Ooh, I just hit the microphone really hard. Ah! I'm sick of these cringe characters entering my game. You think I wanna play against Zelda? I gotta say, I think I'm ready. Money match tournament against the best in the world. I'll be facing off against MK Leo with his renowned Samus. Mario, wake up. Holy shoot. Tournament legal stage. You love to see a good sportsmanship. Ah. 
Ah, tournament legal items. He's far better at Smash Bros than me. But he forgot about my birthday last year and it made me very sad. Huh? Whoa! I mean, that's just a Lego problem. Obviously, I mean, best player in the world round one is just bad luck of the draw. Pools were just demonic for me this year. Well, honestly, we here at the jury of whether or not something is a success determine this to be a success. Look how beautiful it is. I'm sorry, but if Nintendo sold this, I wouldn't buy it because I already have it. And I'd probably sue them and Lego. And I'll be suing MKLeo.